we were at the Bonville Hatchery, and um, here they have um, fish. Salmon fish? <laughs> fish. What kind of fish do you think they have? Salmon fish and a little tiny baby fish. We're gonna follow these little fish on the ground to know how to go and see the salmon fish. is named Hooman. He is 450 pounds and he's 10 feet long and he's 75 years old. He's a sturgeon fish. Looks like they're very hungry. Yeah, watch these guys. They kind of jumped out of the water. They look how much food they're in there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oops, I almost eat the fish food. I wonder what you're doing. Chinook eggs and 7 million coho eggs. The majority of these fish are released directly into Tanner Creek, while others are transferred to other facilities for continued rearing. Any salmon not needed for production are either sold to provide funding for hatchery programs or donated to the Oregon Food Bank to help needy families. Spawning occurs each fall from the end of October through November. As part of their natural life cycle, all Pacific salmon die after spawning. Because the fish do not eat during their migration from the ocean, they return to their final spawning place in poor physical condition. You'll be watching staff take the eggs and sperm from the salmon to produce the next generation of hatchery fish. While this process can be very graphic to watch, it is a necessary part of raising hatchery fish. During the last week in October, the adult salmon begin to ripen, which means they're ready to spawn. An automatic crowder moves the fish into the large elevator that lifts the salmon into the spawning building. Hydropower is a word made up of two parts. Hydro means water and power means energy that is used. As you can probably guess, hydropower is energy that is used from water. Have you ever had your hand under running water and felt the power of it hitting your hand? Kind of. Have you ever been to a waterfall and seen where water has carved away rocks? Mm-hmm. Just today. You've experienced hydropower. Hydropower is used to do work for us. In so there's two doors that are not open on my dam, but there's two other doors over here. This is for the teeny weeny fish to get in, and this is for the medium sized fish to get in. So, this is the fun fish day. Um, there are stairs behind you. These are spillways, these are just windows. And they jump up the stairs with the running water coming down. They jump into this funnel and they shoot back down. So they don't get any of the fungus. They, the faucet from the river just kind of fills that one kind of thing up. The fish ladder is a watery stairway to help fish swim to the upper lake beyond the dam. Most fish swim in to 
the openings in the weirs. The current is strong at these points and the guides and guides the fish through the openings. Salmon spin from two hours to 48 hours in the fish ladders. I bet that's an eel. That's my guess, eel. That's number two. He is a lamprey mouth. They're parasitic while they're living in the ocean they hear. The sucking mouth and rasp-like teeth attach to another fish's body and suck the fluids they need to survive. Yuck! Preserving the environment, the environment within my community, within my community and, away from home, and away from home by never littering, by never littering keeping clean the forests, the, forest, the fields and the waters, the fields and, the waters and, by the rangers, and by assisting the rangers who protect our natural resources. Congratulations, you guys are both junior rangers. An official. Junior Ranger, you US are. Junior Ranger, Corps of Engineers. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. And this is my patch. I love my patch. Was that fun? Yeah. Hey, it even matches my book patch. It does, you're right. I'm gonna now I have a book, a Junior Ranger patch, a pin, and an Oregon State flag magnet.